Hi, I'm going to review for you my new toy for the kitchen. This is an induction burner from Duck's Top. So I am just pulling it out of the box here. I hope to use this on some of my cooking videos to make it easier so I don't have to go back and forth between the stove and the place I like to cut vegetables and so forth. All right, very nice, simple packaging. No box within a box. The foam pieces back in the main box here. And a simple plastic bag with a twist tie on it. All right, and I pulled it out of the bag upside down. On the bottom part here, we have four feet and a circular little grill at one corner it over and we have a large square surface with rings etched into it you can feel them with your fingers very nicely so you'll be able to tell where to center your pot and then we have a panel and the panel has one button off by itself and then three together I can feel an indentation for a screen and then one button off by itself, another button off by itself, and a third one by itself. So we point that towards you all there. Here we have, I'm betting this one is power. Oh, no, and these are... So these are all actually very well separated from each other. And there's absolutely no way to know which one is which. There's no differentiation whatsoever. So a suggestion to the manufacturer is make them different sizes and maybe put some kind of tactile marking on this plastic sheet. I'm going to play with this for a while and I'll come back later and give you a summary of how accessible I think it is. Okay, so I've had a chance to play with this induction burner a little bit, and I am giving this a not for use. Uh, it's, it's really, really hard to use as a blind person. You could probably turn it on, put a pot on it. Uh, by default, it comes in at half power, and changing the power cycle is far too difficult, and it requires that you see the display screen to know which mode it's in, it's, um, I'm giving this a fail. So I'm just gonna demonstrate it to you really quickly. And then I am putting this on the do not buy list. All right, so it beeps when you plug it in, that's a good sign. Um, the button I assumed was power, is power mode or power, power level. And as you push it, it changes the levels and changes on the screen and you need to know what's happening. I tried counting and it turned out my counting was completely off. So voila, um, I'm gonna hit the actual power button, which is the one on the far right of the front panel. And you'll hear that it's constantly beeping. And what that is indicating is that there is no pot detected. So I'm just gonna turn it off and it does not turn off and you actually have to unplug it at this point. Let me get a pot that is actually compatible with it. Here is my smaller cast iron pan. Now there is some nice glass engraving on it so the blind person can center it on the burner really nicely before turning it on. I'm just gonna hit the power again now. And you get a very high-pitched hum indicating that it's working. And it did not get that beat because there is a compatible, a compatible pan on it now. And if I put my hand over it, it is already getting very warm. Uh, the other problem is, is the fan on this is very loud. We are going to keep this unit, but we're going to use it with my husband using it in the backyard to do things like boil corn and stuff when we're having a barbecue. But it's... It's not something I feel very comfortable with. Uh, I'm going to now hit the power button. And the thing to note is that you cannot take the pan off or you will wreck the device 
until the fan turns off. So there's no real way that the, to know as the blind person that the power has turned off because the fan still runs and you might keep pushing it and you never know. The pan is incredibly hot right now so I can't touch it. So a couple of recommendations to the manufacturer here is you could actually do some really good work by making these buttons on the front panel here a different shape. You know, you could have the power button have a big raised O on it that's tactile. You could have the plus minus buttons have arrows that be the shape of an arrow. And you could put like an H on the heat or something that shows that it's a level button, maybe L for the level of uh, power. It's, it would help a little bit, but there's still a lot of need for this visual display here. Uh, you could also have beeps as you're changing the temperature. It does not beep as it's going up or down. They could be ascending tones for higher, that kind of thing. Uh, there's a lot that could actually be done to make this more usable. And I hope you do that in your next model. I hope you learned something from this video. Please click subscribe. Please like the video and let me know what I should review for you next. Today's video was brought to you by Zendesk. I'd like to thank the Zendesk Accessibility Team for inviting me to come speak about the importance of accessible appliances.